hi guys welcome to my channel this is our very first lesson of coral draw training series this lesson is about coral draw introduction in this exercise uh, we will be learning the interface of coral draw coral draw is a graphic designing program it is a vector application using coral draw you can do a lot of things you can create business card you can create company letter ads uh, greeting card brochures flyers banners for large scale printing coral draw is also a very good program it is similar to adobe illustrator but coral draw it is more simple and easy in this training series uh, we will be learning coral draw step by step in depth once you will finish this course you will be able to work with coral draw professionally coral draw mostly used in advertising companies in the printing press once you will finish this training series confidently i can say that you will be a professional coral draw user and easily you can get job in advertising or in the print industry so guys let's get started once you will open coral draw you might see this uh, welcome screen here tab you can see here we have you can open from here new document uh, new from template if you have uh, existing document uh, you can open from the recent or from the other if you have some saved file on your hard drive but if you want you can close welcome screen here you can click on this button at the top here we have a software name you can see that the uh, coral draw and uh, most right side here we have a uh, minimize restore and close button under this here we have a uh, menu bar you can see that uh, we have few menus we cannot see more menus because uh, still our uh, document it is not open inside the coral draw application under uh, menu bar here we have a standard uh, toolbar and uh, under this we have a property bar and most option in these bars disable uh, still not active because we don't have a document and at this side here we have a toolbox and this is our color palette let's open new document if you want to open a new page you can click on this button here you can see that the control n is the shortcut key and you can click on this also this button in the standard bar in the front here we have a open button if you have existing document you can open from this and also you can access uh, these commands here you can click on the file here we have a new and you can see here we have open let's create new document new page click new and you can see that uh, here we have our page this portrait area this is our page and this is a printable area anything you will create outside you will not be able to print anything you want to print it should be inside this area as you can see the page is opened new document is open and in our property bar here we have a property of the page it is a letter size page and if you want you can change here we have different uh, page sizes a4 a3 and in front of this here we have a page size if you want to customize uh, a document if you want to create your own size you can type here here we have uh, portrait our page is portrait if i want i can make it landscape you can see that now it is landscape let's keep it portrait and here we have a units this unit we are using centimeter and uh, if i click here as you can see we have a different type of units any units you want you can activate you can click but right now uh, we will leave it uh, centimeter here we have our page name this is the default name untitled one once you will save this file you can give your own name and if I want to create another document, I can click on this button here. You can see that this small plus, this is also new document or new page. You can click here and uh, we have another document here that is uh, by default uh, with this series, it is named Untitled 2. You can click here to close. At the most left side here, we have a toolbox. You can see that this is our Coral Draw toolbox. At the most right side, we have here color uh, palette so these are the dark able you can see that here we have a small dot in this area if i will bring the mouse here and you can see if i will click and drag i can bring it inside the page uh, wherever i want i can keep it you can click here on the corner to expand and wherever you want you can keep it even you can bring it down here this way even right side let's bring it back to the default location and here we have our uh, document uh, scroll vertical scroll and this is horizontal once I will zoom you can see that now we can move it 
you can zoom inside the page by scrolling uh, mouse wheel this way zoom in zoom out and if i want to bring back uh, i want to fit my page with screen i can click on zoom tool here and uh, you can see here we have option zoom to the page height and uh, zoom to the page width at the bottom here it shows the number of pages uh, right now we have one page in our document if i want i can create more pages i can right click and uh, insert page after if we have multiple pages we can even use insert page before duplicate page also we can delete uh, a page but right now we have only one page if i want i can add more pages from this button you can see that here we have small button if i click it directly color draw will add another page now we have two pages if i want to delete now this page i can select it right click and go to the delete page so right now we have only one page and here it shows the status of the pages whatever the page is selected it shows here so under this here we have a, a status bar you can see that this is the sign of outline and here we have a fill in our coming lesson we will be learning uh, more about that the first tool it is a pick tool you can see that pick tool you can use to transform uh, or move object from one place to another you can uh, resize it you can rotate it by using pick tool any tool in our toolbox we will click the property of that tool it will appear in our uh, property bar you can see uh, last time we select this this is zoom tool and you can see the property of the zoom it's appeared here let's create some object here if I will click on the rectangle tool here you can see that now the property of the rectangle it appeared here in our property bar and uh, with some tool you can see this small black arrow this is indicating that there is additional tools if i will click and hold you can see that here we have a three point rectangle i will just drag the mouse to this now this tool will be active but right now we need only rectangle simple so i'll click it rectangle tool is active let's create something in our page to understand the concept of fill and outline color here our rectangle is active using rectangle you can create perfect square or rectangular shape left side click on the mouse and drag as you can see that we can draw a rectangular box horizontally vertically if i want perfect square i can press control key control key from the keyboard now you can see that proportionally it's going to be resized so if we want square press control key release the mouse and you can see that here we have a perfect square this object we created uh, by dragging mouse if i want i can assign my own size once it is selected you can see that here we have a size of this object if i want i can resize here let's say 8 by 8 click on pick tool and you can see that it is uh, resized and with the pick tool we can move wherever we want we can bring it out we can bring inside and you need to bring the mouse inside the object so this it will move the object this way if i want i can resize from the corner if i will hold it from the corner this way i can resize Control z undo to bring back if i want i can transform object from left to right from up to down also so with our object you can see that we have a black thin line and inside uh, it shows white actually there is uh, none fill we don't have any fill inside since the page is white so it shows this way if i want to fill color inside object in our toolbox uh, we can right click on any color as you can see once i right click the color goes to the outline now our outline is red we can increase the outline size here if we want let's say four so here we have a thick outline so right click on any color to fill color in outline and uh, right click on this X to remove color from outline okay if I want I can click again so you can see that the color goes in our object but uh, the size it's go back to the default state here line if I want I can increase again so right click on any color to fill outline and right click here to remove outline so left side click if i will left side click on any color 
it will go inside inside the object and if I will left click here now we don't have color inside only we have outline so this is the concept to fill object uh, inside color draw right click on any color to fill outline and right click on this X to remove outline left click on any color to fill inside and left click here to remove color from inside let's say yellow so the yellow fill is there this is the basic concept of the fill and outline inside coral draw it's very easy and simple this is how we will fill color in our objects so guys that's all for this lesson this is very basic and first lesson if you don't have coral draw you can install coral draw in your computer and you can practice this exercise guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you